Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Literature with Purva. In today's video, we are going to look at Marxism, we are going to talk about base and superstructure, the two types of classes, and we are going to talk about capitalist society and communist society. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. The German philosopher Karl Marx and the German sociologist Friedrich Engels are the founding figures of Marxist criticism. So Marxism believes that human beings are mainly divided by their socio-economic conditions. So after the Industrial Revolution, we have two types of classes. So we have the proletariat class, the working class people who worked in the factories that were owned by the second class, that is the bourgeoisie class, the rich people who owned the factories, who owned the means of production, that means the raw materials, land, factories, machines, etc. So they were the rich people, so the bourgeoisie, they owned these factories and they hired the working class people to work for them and they used to give very low wages to this working class people and that is how the operation started. So the bourgeoisie class people, they kept on oppressing the proletariat class people. And this division of classes, it happened after the industrial revolution. So we have two classes, the proletariat class, the working class people who were oppressed and the bourgeoisie class people, the rich people who oppressed the working class people. So as you can see, industrialization resulted in the oppression of the working class people, the rich became richer and the poor became poorer. Now we are going to look at base and superstructure. So Karl Marx gave us a beautiful architectural metaphor in order to explain the means of economic production and the other elements that depended on it. So we can consider base as a ground floor and superstructure as the first floor of a building. So what is there in base? Economics is the base. So what do we have in base? We have the means of production. So the raw materials, land, machines, factories, these are the means of production. And these are the means of production that are owned by the bourgeoisie class people. So the bourgeoisie class people, they own the raw materials, they own the factories, they own the machines, they own the land where the factories are built. So this is the means of production. And then we have the relations of production. That means the relationship between the bourgeoisie class people and the proletariat class people. So the bourgeoisie class people, they own the means of production. And because they own the means of production, now they hire the working class people to work for them. So the working class people, they need money. That is why they work for the bourgeoisie class people, but they are given very low wages and they are constantly oppressed by the bourgeoisie class people. So we can see this unequal relationship that exists between the two classes, the bourgeoisie class people and the proletariat class people. So economics is the base and in the base we have the means of production as well as the relationship between the two classes. And who controls the base? The base is controlled by the rich, that is the bourgeoisie class people. Now base shapes the superstructure. So what is there in the superstructure? All the social institutions such as education, family, religion, politics and mass media. So superstructure is used as an instrument of power by the rich people, that is the bourgeoisie class people, to convince the working class people that this is how things should be, that this unequal relationship between the two classes is the most normal thing. So superstructure is used as an instrument of power by the ruling class people to make the working class people that nothing wrong is happening at all. So superstructure maintains and legitimizes the base. It naturalizes the unequal power relationship between the two classes. So if base is the ground floor of a building, superstructure is the first floor of the building. And both of them are controlled by the bourgeoisie class people. 
now we are going to look at the two types of society based on the economic system so at first we have the capitalist society so here the means of production are privately owned and operated for profit there is no government intervention the only role of government is to collect taxes from the privately owned companies so as you can see the main goal is profit maximization and accumulation of wealth the customer can choose the best company out of many companies so this is a capitalist society and marxism is always against capitalist society because in capitalist society the bourgeoisie class people can hire working class people and they can oppress them so in a capitalist society working class people are constantly oppressed and that is why marxism is against capitalist society next we have communist society the type of society we can see in denmark so in a communist society there is equal distribution of wealth government owns everything and distributes equally among all the people it is a classless society people cannot own any private property there and government focuses on the advancement of the entire nation rather than advancement of an individual a communist society believes that human beings should cooperate with each other not compete with each other so it believes in cooperation not competition so marxism supports communist society because it is a classless society so there is no bourgeoisie class and proletariat class people here and the working class people obviously cannot be oppressed here because it is a classless society that is why marxism always supports communist society plato's republic and thomas more's utopia are the earliest examples of communist society in literature also you must remember that in 1848 karl marx and frederick engels together wrote the communist manifesto where they talked about the communist society and what they believe when they talk about communism communist society and marxism so that was all about today's video where we looked at marxism where we looked at base and superstructure where we looked at the differences between capitalist society and communist society in the next video we will continue with some more topics related to marxism if you found the video helpful then do like it and share with your friends i'll be back very soon with a new video and Also I want to announce that we have launched our recorded course of literary criticism and literary theory. So this course comprises of 32 recorded video lectures and PDF notes of 1440 pages. Also in each recorded lecture we have discussed important MCQs. So do check out this online course of literary criticism and literary theory on our online academy www.learningliteraturewithpoorba.com. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.